Governor Gavin Newsom estimates some 25 million Californians could get infected with COVID-19 in a worst case scenario. As News 8's David Godfordson reports, some public health experts are questioning that estimate based on numbers from other countries. Stay indoors, particularly our... We direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. Governor Newsom's stay at home order is based on data that estimates 25 million Californians could be infected with COVID-19 over the next eight weeks. Uh, we've been organized around an attack rate, as we refer to it, of about 56%, that the virus uh, will impact about 56% of us. You do the math in the state of California, that's a particularly large number. Not everybody agrees with the governor's math. My assessment based on the epidemiology in the other countries um, is we'll be able to handle the capacity. Dr. Jeffrey Klausner is a professor of infectious disease and public health at UCLA. And that's why our current approach of using a sledgehammer and this national shutdown is not very wise. It's not a sound epidemiologic approach to controlling infectious diseases. He points out in Italy, one of the country's hardest hit by the virus, there are only about 47,000 confirmed cases with a population of 60 million people. This is not influenza. Influenza is readily spread. It can be airborne. 20 to 30 to 40 percent of the entire population across countries will get infected. We haven't seen that in China, in Japan, in South Korea, even in Italy. Cases are concentrated in the north. So there's other factors that are containing these epidemics that have nothing to do with our control measures. We need to bend the curve. Statistics aside, Newsom says his stay-at-home order will have the practical result of fewer Californians becoming infected. The numbers we put out today assume that we're just along for the ride. We're not. We want to manipulate those numbers down. That's what this order is all about. Governor Newsom also is predicting a statewide shortage of about 10,000 hospital beds. We reached out to his office to clarify those numbers, but we did not hear back. Marcella? And David, it sounds like you're doing better. I know that you had some symptoms that could have been related to coronavirus, but you were able to get a COVID-19 test. And I just want to make sure that everyone knows your results came back negative, right? Yes, they did come back negative. I'm happy about that. My family is happy about that. My daughter immediately thought that when I came back negative, she could go out and start socializing with her friends. And then the governor no. issued his <laughs> order last night, so she's back home. Yes, it is important for all of us to self-isolate and whether or not you have an issue with the numbers, everyone agrees that bending the curve or flattening that curve is essential at this point. Thanks so much, David. We'll see you tomorrow.